which one is worth it. Today we're looking at three chatterbaits at three different prices to see is it worth it. I'm going to give you all of the information I can about which is the best at the best price, but it's your decision on what you think is the best price lure. And that's what I want to know. I want to hear your comments and tell me what you think is the first one, second one, or third one the best. Which one's the most bang for your buck? Because that's what we are all worried about. We're all worried about how much a lure costs versus if it's going to catch a fish. All three of these lures are going to catch fish but which one's the best priced one for our budget? Comment below. The first one we're looking at is the Z-Man Flashback Chatterbait or Vibrating Jig. A small, compact jig, vibrating jig chatterbait that just is exceptional. And it's $3.49. So that's the first one we're looking at. We're gonna make some casts and see what happens. So what makes the Z-Man flashback so impressive? First off, it's $3.49. Comes pre-rigged and it's an exceptional jig. It's an exceptional chatterbait. You can fish it in deep water and in shallow water. It's a little bit, I mean, there are some flaws in it like the hook and that it's, it's really a lightweight uh, lure, but for $3.49, you're not scared to put it where it needs to be to catch fish. And that's where this bait excels. It catches all fish, it catches specks, it catches crappie, it catches bass. It does all of it. Where other chatterbaits usually only catch giant bass or big pike or whatever you're, you're out there fishing for, the flashback catches everything. And that's why it excels, not only because it's $3.49, but it just excels in the platform as a chatterbait. Chatterbait fact, amazingly, the Chatterbait or Vibrate Jing has not been one of the top five baits that has been a winning lure at the Bassmaster Classic over all these years. Surprising, especially when a big fish it catches. Our second bait is the Z-Man Cross Eyes. The Z-Man Cross Eyes is $8.98. And it's an exceptional chatterbait or vibrating jig. What the, the cross eye does better than the first bait is that it's a, a beefier hook, a different sound in the water, a different vibration in the water, starts up faster. And really what the cross eyes does better than the flashback is it catches big fish. This is not a bait that you're going to catch specks or bluegill or small panfish. You're gonna throw the cross eyes for one or two big fish during the day. You generally don't catch a lot of small fish with the bigger vibrating jigs or chatterbaits. And that's where this cross eyes is, is really exceptional. Also. The cross ice has a weed guard to it. So it comes through cover and grass and stumps better than the flashback and a lot better than our third bait. And it's really an exceptional, moderately priced bait or chatter bait that you can really dominate your fishing with. Has a little bit different sound, a little bit different trailer keeper than the third one, but overall, the Z-Man cross eyes is a phenomenal bait one other thing about the cross eyes is you can fish it at any water depth if you want to fish it. In the upper water column, you can keep your rod tip high, or if you want it in the middle or the bottom, it, you can either slow down your retrieval or just allow it to sink. It is great in all water columns and catches fish everywhere. It's one of the better chatter baits out there. And with the trailer keeper, the good hook, silicone skirt, and more, for nine bucks or just under nine bucks, it's really much better than we give it a f credit for. Chatterbait fact number two. The chatterbait's known as the home run hitter because it catches big fish. Here's something you might not know. Brett Height, who is the guru of all chatterbaits, won an FLW tournament on Lake Okeechobee years ago when he won by 14 pounds just using a vibrating jigger chatterbait. So what can you say about our third bait? The third bait is the jackhammer from Z-Man. The king, the queen, the El Presidente of chatterbaits. It has the fastest startup speed. It sounds the best. It uh, has an extremely sharp hook, an un incredible hand-tied skirt. It has double trail keepers, and it is the king of chatterbaits. It catches big fish. I think most anglers and most professional anglers would agree that it is the top one. It is the top gun of chatterbaits, but there are a couple downfalls to it. The price is $15.99 at the best. 
So when you lose 15 bucks, you throw and snag it on a tree because it seems to find branches and trees a lot. And because that, sh that hook is so sharp, it doesn't deflect off cover very well. While it starts up, the startup speed is just insane. Having it run through thick cover and bushes and stuff, you're gonna lose them. And when you lose one, it hurts. It, it, it hurts, $16 down the drain hurts. But everything else about the, the jackhammer is super. You can't use enough superlatives about the jackhammer because it is that good. But is it worth it? That's what we're here to find out. Which one is worth it at the best price point? That's what I wanna know. Comment below and tell me if you think the flashback is the winner, if the cross eye is the winner, or the jackhammer is the winner. I wanna hear what you think. Also, if you like this kind of content, just tell me, Steve, I like this. I'd like to see more, because I'll try to make more. In my opinion, the flashback is just unbelievable. God's honest, it's unbelievable. It's an unbelievable bait, but the hooks do bend back and that is a, a flaw in it. The, the cross size is amazing, incredible also, and priced, moderately priced, and at the price point that I like, where the jackhammer I think is the best. I do think the jackhammer is the best, and if I'm gonna spend money on the best, the jackhammer is the one I'm gonna get. But when it comes down to the best one for me, this is gonna be a surprise, it's the cross eyes, and that's because the price is really good. Does it start as fast as the jackhammer? No, but it does have a weed guard, and for me, the weed guard is very important because I'm throwing in structure and stuff like that. I want it to be able to deflect off that, and the cross eyes deflects off underwater structure better than the jackhammer. But if the jackhammer was the same price, I would own a lot of them. I, I own a lot of them already. So there you have it. Remember to uh, comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. We'll talk to you all soon. Cheers.